This is the story of one high school teacher, seven hardworking students, a retired engineer, and their dream of inventing something that had never been made before. For weeks, we had been doing um, book work and calculations. And then one day, Mr. Daco came to us and said, How would you like to invent something? We were all like, what? I'm, I'm thinking he's pop quiz. Here we go. And at first, we had no idea what he was talking about. Like, how are we going to invent something being high school students? There's this program through MIT. Mr. Daco told us we were going to enter into a design expo for inventors across the country. They have this program that allows students just like you to invent your own creation. He basically told us that the project needed to help society. It had to benefit someone. The Melson MIT would give us a grant of up to $10,000 to invent an idea that we came up with on our own. That's when we came up with a bunch of crazy ideas that we didn't end up using, but I think they were good for the creative process. The first idea that came to my mind was a uh, climate-controlled pillow. It could be warm in the winter and cooler in the summer. My idea was that we could invent a type of grass that would only grow to a certain height so that you would never have to cut it. My idea was a voice-activated doggy door okay, that would open and close only by using the sound of your voice. We all had completely different ideas, including Mr. Daco. I've got some ideas. Mr. Daco asked us to possibly think about designing a new student desk or chair. Really? We first all thought it was kind of a stupid idea. Everybody was like, um, that's not really something that you invent. But then he started explaining how the desks we have now have a lot of room for improvement. I do feel a little locked in because you don't have much movement at all. Yeah, I feel really tired and just ready to go to sleep. I feel really confined and just uncomfortable overall. I feel like I just want to get out. We thought about it. Well, we said yeah, we'd give it a try. Yeah. We researched when the last patent on a school desk like ours was created, I guess. And saw they were all pretty much the exact same since 1953. So we surveyed everyone on whether they liked their current chair desk. And we got a lot of no's. Uh, we did research and we found that this thing called dynamic learning, which is where students move around, they seem to remember stuff more, and you or pay more attention in class, whereas if you're just sitting around, you seem to forget a lot more than anything else, and we try to incorporate those ideas into our desk. We learned that, that our desk needs to be able to adjust to anybody. Right, we were looking for the range and the median of how tall and how short the desk needed to be and how far away it needed to be. If Daco made it a requirement that we all had to draw a sketch just to see what kind of image everybody had for the desk, I believe that starting a sketch is very important to your process because it gives you the image of what you want to make and what you hope to achieve. We researched many materials, uh, mainly for the tabletop. We researched a lot of recyclable, non-scratchable surfaces we could use. For the desktop, we chose a material called Chroma and it's made out of 30% recycled plastic bottles. One of the biggest things was we wanted the surface to be non-scratchable and easy to clean for our janitors. Uh, we didn't know this until we got it, that gum does not stick to it. We tried it. It was hard to scratch, gum resistant, and it was a nice blue color. One thing that students won't like about the chroma material is that it is see-through. So if you are trying to hide your cell phone under your desk. So that you can't text or call while they're in class. The teachers will be able to see the light shining through. We really discarded wood because it wasn't very durable. You could break it easily, such as what I did to it with the chisel. So we just had to start brand new with metal. Yeah. We went through an entire classroom looking for the right type of metal. 
but we couldn't find it. Therefore, we had to go to Lowe's. Hi, Mom. And we got a bunch of different things, and we got the metal that we ended up using for our base. Zach was the cutting specialist. He would just go around looking for things to cut. I love the job so. I, I remember one time, I was like, well, can I do it? He was like, no, you're not touching my chop saw. We started off strong, and then all of a sudden, we had an unexpected snow. It's causing us to lose two weeks of precious building time. At that point, we had a lot of ideas, but we didn't really know what was going to work, because none of us are engineers. We just didn't know how we were going to put it together because we didn't have the right welding tools and some of the saws and things that we needed. We hit a brick wall. It was like, okay, what do we do now? That's when Will came in. Will read an article about our desk in a local newspaper and contacted us. He got us help with like builders and materials and he helped with welding because he saw how complicated the things could be and knew his background in engineering could be a major help. As time was starting to dwindle down, we were like, oh, we have like a month left and we still have to put this on there and this on there. I don't think we'll be able to get this done. We were coming in all hours of the day, coming in on Saturday morning. We were the only people here at school. And then we still had to get it to MIT by the end of the month. How are we going to get this done? That's all that's running through our heads, and somehow, some way, we did. I mean, all that work and everything, it really paid off. Hey! We really made it. When we finished the desk, we had to take it to MIT and present it in front of a bunch of professionals in their field. It was really fun just to do something different, and I hope to continue it in the future. One thing that separates our desk from the current desk is adjustability. Being able to um, incorporate that idea of dynamic learning and moving while you learn. This chair rocks. No, it swivels. So you can get out any way you like. We wanted to just be able to simply detach the chair and move it to somebody else's desk for group work. You could adjust the distance between you and the desk. You could adjust the height of the surface that you ride on and also the tilt of it. It's cooler than anything out there. I don't really think the desk is good. I think it's great. Once you have an idea, you have to think about it and what you need to do to make it work. You have to do your homework. Find out what's been done before. Find out what materials you need. What designs will work. Some ideas just don't work. So you gotta build it again. We were testing things all the time. We had to make a lot of changes. It felt great when it was finally finished. We made our presentation and people liked it. Yeah. The best experience I've ever had. Hey!